He's worthy. He's worthy. Give him more, give him more. Give him more. Let's offer, let's offer, let's offer, let's offer up. Let's offer up more tonight. Let's offer up, offer up adoration tonight. Worship, 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 worship the one who is worthy. Sufficient Jesus, the lover of my soul, Jesus, the bright morning star, Jesus, the King of Kings, Jesus, ruler of the nations, Jesus, mighty King, Jesus. So have your way, Jesus. Live in us, Jesus. Move through us, Jesus. Live through us, Jesus. Worthy is Jesus. Can you just, just sing out his name? Sing out his name. The wonderful, glorious one, Jesus. All of us, all of us, all of us crying out, Jesus. Ten thousand, Jesus. Santo, 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 Santo. Just a little more. Just a little more. Oh. We're free, we're free, we're free in the mall at DC to cry out, Jesus! We're free, we're free in the mall at DC, so let's cry out with a loud, loud voice, Jesus! 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 
by the power of his love? What would it be like if we were all possessed by the all-surpassing power of the love of God? For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son Who did he give us? Jesus. That whoever believes in his name will not perish, but have everlasting life. So welcome, Jesus. 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 You are welcome here. I share from the words of the book of Isaiah that beautiful, beautiful, glorious Jesus spoke. The spirit of the sovereign Lord is on me. The spirit of the sovereign Lord is on you. If you call on the name of Jesus, if you walk in the footsteps of Jesus, if you cry out the name of Jesus, if you're forgiven by the Savior Jesus, the spirit of the sovereign Lord is on you. It's on you. He's on you. Because the Lord has anointed me. He's anointed you to preach good news to the poor. What does good news sound like? Jesus! How will the world know that we are lovers of Jesus? We have to walk with the fragrance of the King. Move with the fragrance of the King. Live as worshipers of an almighty and glorious King. Love wins. Love wins. Hallelujah. When believers love like Jesus. When believers love like Jesus. We lay down. We go low. We humble ourselves like the Savior who showed us the way, and we go low. Jesus sent us to bind up the brokenhearted, to come with power, a power that looks like radical love. A power that looks like radical love that binds up the brokenhearted, that moves with the spirit of compassion, that pours out mercy, that pours out kindness, that pours out a love that looks like something. What would it look like if everyone called by the name of Jesus called as a lover of Jesus, gave their life away to represent Jesus. What would it look like if the simplicity of the gospel was manifested in every single person that calls on the name of Jesus? What would it look like? What would it sound like? What 
would it feel like? What would it be manifested as right here and right now? He has called you and he has called me to proclaim freedom. Freedom, 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 freedom to every captive. Freedom to every captive, free from sin, free from bondage, free from slavery, free from hatred, free from the misery of being bound to a place called living in this world as a natural man. Freedom to live as a supernatural being. Freedom to forgive. Freedom to live a life of the Beatitudes. You are called to be the hands of Jesus. The hands of Jesus. The feet of Jesus. The fragrance of Jesus. The mercy of Jesus. The love of Jesus on this earth and in this nation. They will know that we are Christians by our... How will they know by our... If they'll know by our love, what does love look like in the midst of hatred? What does love look like in the midst of mockery? What does love look like in the midst of the mall, what does love look like? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. Freedom to live for you, God. He has called us to release from darkness the prisoners, the slaves, the bound, those burdened by darkness. He has called us to comfort all who mourn. All who mourn and bestow upon them a crown of beauty instead of ashes. The oil of gladness instead of mourning. They will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. Will you, his lovers, display holy his splendor here? Will you, his lovers, display his splendor here? Will you see what he sees and respond like he responds? He gives us a new garment. He gives us a new garment and it is our praise. And so we come to the mall to praise. We come to the mall to worship. We come to give him more. Because he is worthy. 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 So we come to praise him. But not just with our words and not just with our songs. May our life be clothed in the righteousness of Christ. May we be clothed in the beauty of Jesus. May people see his name written on our foreheads. 
everywhere we step, everywhere we walk, loving with the love of the Lamb. No entitlements laid down, lovers of the Lamb. A planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor, and then we will rebuild. We will rebuild the ruins. We will restore the places devastated. We will. It's time. It's time. It's time. But a method of God is to give himself away. And now he asks you, will you give yourself away? Will you give yourself away? Will you give yourself away for love? Will you see what he sees? Will you do what he does? Will you feed the poor? Will you see them in their disguise? You are called priests of the Lord. You will be named ministers of our God. You will feed on the wealth of the nations, and in their riches you will boast, and instead of shame, instead of the shame, such great, great shame, my people will receive a double portion. A double portion. It comes as we trust in the Lamb who is worthy. And instead of disgrace, they will rejoice in their inheritance. And so they will inherit a double portion in the land. And everlasting joy will be theirs. Joy is our portion. Joy is our portion. Joy in the storm. Joy in the suffering. Joy in the pain. Joy. There's enough joy in knowing that salvation has come for us to carry radical love forever. Forever and ever and ever. All who see will acknowledge all who see them. What if all who see us here, what if all who see us, the way we move out there, the way we love out there, the way we live out there, the way we breathe out there, the way we give out there, the way we stop out there for the broken, the sick, the dying, the lame, the alien, What would it look like if all who see us would acknowledge that we are a people the Lord has blessed? What would it look like to carry that kind of radical love in this broken world? Are you ready? Are you ready to find out? Are you ready to give your life away? that others might live? Are you ready to worship not just with your words? Are you ready to be a vessel poured out? We love because he first loved us. Oh. The sovereign Lord will make righteousness and praise spring up before all the nations. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? Here is what love looks like. Philippians 2. If you have any encouragement, do you? Are you encouraged? Are you encouraged that we could still come in the mall in D.C. and worship the one who is worthy, Jesus? Are you encouraged? 
that we could come freely in our nation and give him praise. Oh, Shara, we want to praise the one who is worthy. So if you have encouragements from being united with Christ, are you? Are you united? Have you given yourself over? Have you given your heart, your mind, your soul, your strength? Have you given all that you are and all you will be to the one who is worthy? Jesus. Are you united? Are you united? Are you united with Christ? If you have any comforts from his love, are you comforted by the love of Jesus? How will others be comforted? How will others know what love looks like? Through you! Through you! Through you! It's no longer time to sing this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. You're not a little light. You're not a little light. You're not a little light that Satan can out with a breath. You're not a little light that the enemy can stop from being a loud sound and a star in the universe. As it shines, holding out salvation, will you shine? Will you shine? Shining looks like something. It looks like you stepping into the broken places, the broken, dying, burdened places, and loving with a radical grace. Loving those who persecute you, who say all manner of evil against you. Loving in a way that those who have never known what it is to receive that kind of love, Feel it as you step in to the space where they are. Love has to look like something. Love must look like something. And it has to look like every believer going low. So in these last moments... We're going low. We're going to go low. We're going to get down. And we're going to offer God more. We're going to offer God more because he gave us everything. And he wants to possess us with his glory. He wants to fill us with his power. He wants to empower us to love the one in need. So we are going to bow our knees to the worthy one. And we're going to worship with more than our song. Oh, because if you're comforted by his love, if you have fellowship with the Holy Spirit, if you have tenderness, does the world... See us as tender? Do those who don't understand our gathering see us as merciful? When they look at you, can they feel the compassion of Christ? What does love look like here? Would you lift your hands? Would you just lift your hands and yield your hearts and bow your knee? Oh. Oh, Rabbi. Oh, 
that we would be like-minded. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. Come. Come here right now and fill your people. Fill your people with radical love and passion. Cause our minds to be like yours, Jesus. Begin to cry out, begin to cry out, begin to cry out. Oh, that I would look like Jesus. Oh, begin to pray, beloved of God, beloved of God, beloved of God. Oh, oh, we still have freedom. How will we use our freedom how will we use our freedom? How will we use our freedom? How will we use our freedom? Oh, begin, 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 begin to offer up, offer up, offer up, offer up, offer up yourself. Offer up, offer up yourself. We will be like-minded, having the same love, the same love, the same love, the same love as you, Jesus. Being one in spirit, will we be one in spirit? Will we be one in spirit? They will know we are Christians by our love. Do nothing. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceits, but in humility. In humility, consider others better than yourselves. Help us, Jesus. Help us, Jesus. Help us to consider others better than ourselves. Rid us of selfish ambition and empower us with radical love. Rid us of selfish ambition and empower us with radical love that looks like something always and forever. Each of you should not look only to your own interests, but also to the interests of others, and your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus, who being in the very nature of God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but he made himself nothing. Taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in the appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even the death on the cross. Now, every, everyone, 
in this place, lift your hands. We're going, we're going to, we're going to end this portion tonight by crying out together tonight in worship. And the worship team will come. We're going to cry out in worship. And we're going to offer our little lives, our little lives, our little lives. We're going to lay down our little lives. Are you ready? Are you ready to lay down your little life and be filled with the power of Holy Spirit? Are you ready to live a life that looks like radical love on the streets, in the inner cities, in the prisons, in the schools, in the slums, in the broken places? Ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to offer more than a song? You ready? You lead, you lead, you lead. Shakaraba. Let's bless him. Bless him, bless him, bless him. Bless him. Hallelujah. Can you bless him? with your life laid down. Bless him with your life wholly given. Bless him with a life of humility. We come one in spirit and purpose to bless the Lord. Just lift your hands across this place right now. The Holy Spirit wants to release an anointing over you for evangelism today. There is about to be a wave of evangelism that will move across this place. And right now, right now, uh, as, as we bless the Lord, as we give our lives, I, I want you to just get up on your feet right now and give your lives as a sacrifice, holy and pure, right now. Right now, right now, as we just have a few moments I dare you to press in for something you have never seen. I dare you to believe God to do something in your life that will shape history and change lives this weekend. Right now, right now, right now. Just begin to press in. Hunger is not, hunger is not a fruit of the Spirit. It is a choice. The Bible says from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent take the kingdom by force. And I hear a rumble in the spirit. I hear a rumble over the streets right now that God is looking for ones that will burn with a holy fire and burn with a holy passion. Right now, we're going to ask Holy Spirit to come and fall in these next few minutes. And the Lord is going to pour out a fire and an anointing on your life. And the spirit of evangelism 
is going to captivate your hearts. Listen, listen, listen. Grab a hold of somebody right now, right now, right now. Grab a hold of somebody right now. And I, don't, don't talk, just press in right now. The Holy Spirit, he is here. Amazing grace, I feel your presence right now, right now on this mall. And Holy Spirit, I ask that you would rend the heavens over D.C., God. And you would pour out a fire of evangelism, God. Miracles, signs, and wonders. Lord, would they break forth like a mighty wind. Come on, come on, come on. Lift your voice. Hunger is a choice. Hunger is a choice. Hunger is a choice. The heartbeat of God is breaking for the lost. And he's looking for revivalists. Oh God, oh God, oh God, come Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit. Father, from the tops of their heads to the soles of their feet. Lord, I ask for a release of your anointing. My God, let it come. More, more, more. More, more. There it is. He's breaking out across this place. Fire fall. Fire fall. Come on, come on. Come on, lift your voice. Lift your voice again. Don't just press in. Please, God, not another gathering, God, but an outpouring of your spirit. Please, God, come, Holy Spirit. Come with your fire. Come with your power. Come on. name. Now right now just lift your hands. We have 30 seconds. I want you to lift your hands and I want you to open up your mouth and I want you to cry out in the spirit right now. And the Holy Spirit is going to release fire on your hands. There's going to be a tangible fire that is about to manifest on your body. Right now, right now, right now. Come on. Right now. Father, release your fire. Release it now. Healing mantles. Lord, the prophetic God. Miracle signs and wonders, God. Miracle signs and wonders. Break out, God. In the name of Jesus. Words of knowledge. Baptism of fire, God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. <laughs> 